If you are studying or have studied mechanics and physics class at school, you most probably heard sentences like body A works on body B, or there was work done on this object. But what does it really mean? What is work? Imagine you apply a force on an object. According to Newton's famous second law, F equals ma, doing so will cause the object to accelerate. If it accelerates, it means its velocity is increasing. And if its velocity is increasing, it also means that its energy of motion is increasing. So, the act of applying a force on an object so that it starts moving has increased its energy. But what about you? Imagine if you pushed this object many times. You would feel tired, right? You would feel like you need to rest to regain some energy. Yes, by pushing the object, you lost energy. To summarize, you lost energy by applying a force on an object, and as a result, the object gained energy. What you did is that you transferred some of your energy to the object. You worked. Yes, that's it. Work is a transfer of energy. If body A works on body B, the amount of work done will be equal in magnitude to the loss of energy of body A and to the gain of energy of body B. Many students define work as being the scalar product of a force with the displacement of the object on which the force is applied. This is true, but it is not always easy to picture what work means based on this definition. So, next time you think that way when working on a question or a problem, remember the more intuitive meaning of work. Work is a transfer of energy. This will allow you to get a clearer picture of the situation.